In this video, we are gonna be taking a look at a common misconception that kids develop when they are counting. This happens as kids are starting to make sense of the counting pattern. Now, let me take a moment to describe the difference between a misconception and a mistake. Both often lead to a wrong answer, and so if we don't dig into how the students are thinking about it, we don't often know if it's a mistake or a misconception. So a mistake is often when a child misremembers something like a fact or a procedure. It happens usually when they're trying to follow a rule and a procedure, but they don't remember the exact steps. Or they see a fact, like sometimes when I see four times three, I think seven, just because I see four and three. And I think that makes a seven because I added instead of multiplying. That's a mistake. That is not something based in my understanding of mathematics. And that's when misconceptions happen. Misconceptions actually happen as a natural development of students' understanding. They, what they are doing in the moment makes sense to them. It is based on their mathematical understanding at the moment, not just because they misremembered a fact or they didn't do the steps properly. Okay, so that's the difference between mistakes and misconceptions. So let's dive in to a common counting misconception that young kids have. When kids are counting, we often overemphasize 10 and especially 10-ness. Like we drag out the 10, we highlight a 10 when kids are counting. And so when they start counting up into the decades, they will often use that 10-ness because it makes sense to them. I heard this with almost every single one of my own personal kids. They would, when they were counting, they would say something like 28, 29, 2010, because that makes sense to them. After nine comes 10, right? They are trying to make sense of the patterns that happen when they are counting. And this often happens because we overemphasize the 10 when they are first learning to count. And now really, this is not that big of a deal and it tends to quote unquote write itself. But for some kids, they may, they may need more work in realizing what happens when you hit that next 10 and that decade number. So a couple things that we recommend. Number one, working with manipulatives. I especially love 10 frames because kids can see when that next full 10 frame happens and, and then highlight what decade number that becomes. And of course, lots and lots of counting. And I'd, I'd like to say de-emphasize 10, um, but 10 is a really big number in our number system. So we want them to understand 10-ness and how numbers, you know, we want to get to that next 10, but really helping them understand that count sequence that the counting starts over at nine and we go back to zero because we made a new 10. Okay, now it's your turn. Let us know down in the comments section about a common misconception around counting and maybe even the counting patterns that you've seen with your students. Let's all learn from each other and talk about ways that we can help kids combat these misconceptions. And remember, if you aren't sure if it's a misconception or just a mistake, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Let's chat about it.